thought I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. So let's count that as a win, shall we? Julie with an eye here, and today we are tackling the Brooklyn Half Marathon. I honestly never thought that I'd get into running again. I unfortunately tried the New York Full Marathon. I got it on the raffle to New York, and unfortunately at the time, I had an allergic reaction in the first four miles. Concurrently with that failed attempt, I also was dealing with an autoimmune disease, severe mental health issues, my body was having a very very adverse reaction to the autoimmune disease. I didn't care about school. I didn't care about running anymore. I didn't care about really anything. And until I got that sorted out, unfortunately associated running with that sickness. Recovering from that took a very, very long time. And so when my friend approached me in October before the Brooklyn Half Marathon and was like, hey, I think I wanna do this. Like, will you do this with me? I really only considered it because she had asked me and this is like my best friend in the whole world. But at that moment, I did go through a long process of recovering and I was in a much better place than I was when I was first diagnosed with my illness. And so I wanted to confront the fear of running. I didn't want it to be this thing I was so scared of. And so I decided to embark on training for another half marathon. Training is really the entire battle. 12 weeks running four to five times a week with active rest days in between and that kind of took over my life. Never have I ever run the Brooklyn Half Marathon. Hi guys. Today is officially day one of half marathon training. I have to run three miles today. And when I saw it in my planner, I literally almost choked because on Sunday I'd run three miles for the first time and I was dying to see dead. And now I have to do it not once, <laughs> twice this week. I'm feeling a little bit nervous now that the actual training has started. I had sort of tried to prep myself for the last couple weeks because this week was supposed to be week one. But I looked at it, I think in like November, I was like, girl, be so fucking for real right now. You think that I can get out there and run four miles immediately? No, I couldn't even run a mile when I started prepping. So thankfully I had the foresight to kind of run in sort of a routine. Monday's a rest day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are running days, Friday's a rest day, Saturday is any type of like CrossFit workout and then Sunday is a long run. So I've been kind of following that routine. But this week is the first officially starting the actual training. Girl, pray for me. Wow, I look rough. Um, I just ran four miles. Thought I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. So let's count that as a win, shall we? I found this easier than the run I did two days ago. It's probably because I am cheating today and therefore I have more carbs at my disposal. But the last 0.5 was rough. I'm gonna have to get new shoes. I can already feel blisters. These aren't meant to be running shoes. So I have to go to an actual store like I used to to get proper shoes and I also have to buy tape. So the problem with the way I run is that I run on the balls of my foot and you're kind of supposed to to an extent but not as much as i do so i need to be able to have something to like cushion the bottom of my foot which should help guys look what came in my shoes i'm so excited ha. my feet have been hurting so bad blisters on my feet didn't even run like half a mile my feet are shredded i just slipped it on like a cloud i'm so excited to run in these tomorrow ah! i was scared about running four miles tomorrow but now i'm excited the first few weeks pretty good you get into a routine really quick good morning another day another run five miles are done for the day i would try to run before work miles one through like five six were pretty good to me i felt like i was prepared today i finished six miles so i did three miles first then i peed because i had to pee so bad and then i came back and did another three miles the last three miles i did was better than the first three miles. Today was just a very good milestone for me because I'm almost halfway there to how much I have to run in April and we're about a month and a half away, so. Miles seven, eight, nine, ten were very difficult. This week hasn't been the best running week for me. I'm not really sure why. The last half of the training program was very difficult. And there was a couple of reasons why. Remember how I said I had that illness and I thankfully have recovered? Well, the reason that I had been able to do that is because I found a diet that worked for me. The autoimmune disease that I have is all about inflammation. Unfortunately, my body is very reactive to stress. Because of the stress, my body becomes inflamed 
bloated, I retain weight, I get foggy. And so the way that I have been able to combat that is by following an autoimmune protocol diet. No grains, no sugar, no caffeine, gluten, no dairy. But as a byproduct, I don't really eat carbs. I can't have rice. I can't have bread, I can't have regular pasta, and basically everything that runners consume to carb load is not available to them. Can you believe that? That carbs give you the energy you need? Who would have thought? So I had to make a decision real quick about whether I was willing to sacrifice my AIP diet for being able to run those high miles. And what I came to the conclusion was that I was not going to be able to finish the race if I didn't eat those carbs just for the last couple of weeks. And this kind of coincided with another problem that I was facing, which is that I had gone to the Philippines mid-training. Thankfully, I had the foresight to go ahead and do my long run that was supposed to happen while I was in the Philippines before I went. We are quickly approaching my trip to the Philippines. I'm getting scared. Just found out from my parents, because my parents are there ahead of me, that the place that we're currently staying at actually doesn't have a gym. Next Sunday, when I have to do my big, massive long run, I will be there. So here's what I'm thinking. This weekend, I'm supposed to do a 5K, which is a very little amount of miles to me now. At this point, I've run six miles. So as much as this kills me to say it, I think I wanna try to run seven miles today, which, scary, scary. But I think that's what I have to do just to be super responsible about it. Hi guys, so I just wanted to give you an update that I finished my seven mile run. Actually had to stop in the middle because I threw up. Not the greatest thing to happen ever. I like sprinted to the bathroom. I don't even think I stopped my treadmill. I wanna say like 5.3 in. I think I did like 5.3 miles. And I had my gummy and I had my water and it was just too much and I threw up. Proud of myself though, because I wiped my mouth, cleaned up my face and I finished the seven miles. I was like, there is no fucking way that I just threw up in a public gym and I'm not gonna finish this. But I got really weirdly emotional afterwards. I think I was just really overwhelmed and tired. It knocked the life out of me to do seven miles. And I am uncomfortable with emotions, but I just know that I was very emotional and, and I'm really happy I did because now I can go to the Philippines without that lingering over my head. Best decision I ever made because I did not run a single bit in the Philippines. Now, if you've never been to the Philippines or don't know anything about it, there is a 12 hour time difference between America and the Philippines, which means night and day totally flipped. And so going there, the jet lag actually was not horrible. I slept on the plane. I stayed up for one day, I showered, changed my clothes, went to the mall, stayed up all day, totally fine. However, I made the assumption that when coming home, I would actually be exactly the same. Oh, it's fine. I'll just stay up. Not like that at all. Melatonin I think I got maybe four hours of sleep last night. Can you imagine that I was going to run five miles a day? Good morning. And by morning, I mean it's 7 p.m. When I am sleep deprived, I get headaches and those headaches give me nausea. I actually didn't get to finish my run, and as I'm making this video, I actually have a headache. I literally slept 11 hours last night. There's no way I have a headache. Hopped in Advil, went to the gym, and I started off okay. I was all right, but ultimately I did have to stop because I was gonna throw up. And there's always next week to try again. It's okay. I'm excited for next week and the opportunities that I have to get back to my normal self. It took me about a week and a half to finally flip back. So I get up off the couch, fold my blankets, and go get my are my legs killing me. But oh my God, I'm so happy because the last two weeks have been so rough coming back from vacation. Like I can't even tell you guys how scared I was. Yes, it was hard, but I did it. We're halfway, 5.6 miles in. Just had to do a bathroom break. Oh my God, I'm so disgusting. I just finished 10 miles. My attending is driving me home because I'm so tired. <laughs> are you making fun of me? She's like, yeah. I ordered a vest because I hate the thought of running in a belt like I did last time. It was awful. Came with a water bottle. And this pocket's for like a phone. Feels pretty good. I have my vest on. I'm about to be crying at the gym. Finished my four mile run. The vest starred. 
good morning guys it's the day before my half marathon in the morning we are going to be heading to brooklyn to go pick up my bib and see what else is going on at the expo my best friend went last night and she told me that the line was long to get in but the line to get the bib was not bad so i'm like okay also she said the merch is ugly not very happy about that feel good hopefully i'm still a little nervous like I've done all I can do and honestly I'm just like really excited to get there. Let me tell you, I am not gonna look like that guy. <laughs> Hoping that you know all this training of like leads to something. So I'm back home. I just picked up some pasta for myself just so that I could carb load a little bit. My brother made me a smoothie because I threatened and blackmailed him into making me a smoothie. <laughs> Regardless I'm thankful. It is 8 p.m. It is the night before my half marathon and I am anxious and nervous. <laughs> excited too, like I am excited to get there. Because it is fun, like I remember wave four, so I'm like the last wave, but I'm corral B, so I'm close to the front of my wave. That means my start time is 8.30. I trained for so long for this. Like this is something I've really wanted to do for a while and it's something that I have been so nervous about re-entering. I remember kind of collapsing in on myself and with that I gave up running and this is the first time that I'm kind of entering back into that and I'm proud of myself for that. Oh my God, I can't believe it's tomorrow, it's crazy. race day like five in the morning <laughs> the day comes i remember being in the corrals it was like freezing i just remember it being really cold one mile <laughs> my parents were nice enough to come in with me hey joel we're starting our own marathon so we're walking to mile three dad says what do you say dad <laughs> so we're a little tired and trying to get a city bike we got bikes Here's your runners. Here's your dad waiting for you. Right. Julie! 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 Oh my god, Julie! Julie! Jail pack. First one. Saved my life. It is so much better if there is somebody there supporting you. I told my mom, I was like, you're kind of like, you know in Mario Kart where there's like one of those like question mark cubes and you can like touch it and like a power comes through. Like that's kind of what it feels like, right? Like you see someone that you know and it just motivates you a little bit more to keep going when you want to absolutely die. I have seven, eight, nine, ten. It's getting harder and harder and harder and I'm just chugging, right? I thought the meanest thing about this race was that the hills were all the way at the end. I remember it also getting a lot hotter. So I remember by, you know, 10, closer to 11, it starts getting really hot. To the point where I remember at mile 10, 10 miles. They did like a loop. We were going down a residential street and there were apartments and there was a guy with a water gun going, raise your hand if you want me to shoot you with a water gun. The race had put out sprinklers so that you could run through the mile 10. And at the same time, an ambulance was coming down on the other side to pick up a runner who had, I'm assuming, passed out from heat. But I ended up getting a cramp near the last half of the leg. It took me by surprise. I guess I wasn't hydrating enough, but all I kept thinking was, oh my God, I did 10 miles. What's three miles? Like, come on, what's three miles? And then I'm thinking, okay, three miles is only 1.52 times. And I'm like, you can run 1.52 times. That's nothing. What's 1.5? Come on, you're almost there. I see my parents by the end. I remember we ended at Prospect Park. And the mean, horrible thing about Prospect Park is I thought, hey, you know, once I reach the park, I'm done. That's it, that's the finish line. No. They make you circle Prospect Park a couple of times before you reach the end. I wanted to die. I was sweating. I could feel the salt like sticking to my face at this point. And I'm just done. I'm done. I want to stop running. I hate it. I'm basically trotting or like interchanging walking and trotting. I'm not really running anymore. <sighs> it's hard on the body. It's hard on the mind. You're fighting with yourself. Like 
I'm finishing. It's a lot. Now, especially for someone like me who like running is not neat to me, okay? I need to try super hard to finish. I cross the finish line. I get my medal. I am just done. I am done and suddenly I feel like every bit of like frustration and like everything I felt up until that point in New Year anymore. I was so happy. It wasn't the best time I'd ever done. I had actually, you know, in college been so much faster. But I just felt happy to be back in a place where I didn't hate running anymore. Where I was just like so scared of it. The food that you eat, the amount that you were able to consume is quite frankly ridiculous after you run that much. And I was very, very proud to say, never again can I say, never have I ever run the Brooklyn Half Marathon. And then when you think that's the end of it, <laughs> two weeks later, I did another half marathon. That's for another video. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.